Okay, another tool in MuGraph for exploding things is polyfx. Uh, we have a lot of explosion tools in Cinema 4D, but in this tool, the benefit of this tool is that you can combine with the cloner and use, of course, the effector and the fields. First, begin from a simple plane, for example. This is our plane. Here you can assign the polyfx. This is an, uh, you have to make it a child. All of the tools that uh, the color is purple, like a deformer, you have to make a child of the object. And here we have the tab object transfer effector and the fields. Uh, it's explode the object. For seeing that, I explain too much now. For seeing that, you can explode, apply any object in Cinema 4D. As you can see, this, this is not uh, actually editable. It's parametric now. For seeing that explosion, first you have to give them effector. Then in effector, you can control that effector with the formula. Now, for example, you can give a um, plane effector. In a plane effector, we change the y-axis. It skips the whole object, but needs, a, for example, linear or spherical field and as you can see it's explode the object with this spherical you can go to the parameter and change it nice it's explode the segment of the object let's see if we can see different between the partial and poly segment now now we have to explain it in a spline <clears throat> and that's it for example, if you want to create a thickness, you can give them to the cloth surface. Give this plane under the cloth surface. And we don't want to any subdivision. And we need thickness. Here you can add any thickness to your object. In this case. Oh, sorry. You can select the, this field and change it. Uh, this is not clone, cloner. As you can see, we have just a plane, a plane, and we explode the polygon of this plane, not the objects. Okay, this is a different main difference between the cloner and this polyfix. Go to the polyfix. Uh, in the transfer, you can change the rotation on the whole objects or scale them in any direction that you want. This is an effector that we assign and uh, we have a different, uh, you can deactivate it, go to transfer, right click, right click, right click to make them again. We have a different field here. If you click it directly as we call in this field of the poly affix, as you can see, we have nothing because you have to uh, assign it to, you have to delete that plane effector, and then you can see the effect of that. Nice. Uh, in this, if you assign the poly affix directly on the field, you can see this effect. They are connecting to each other. And if you go to the poly affix, the object as we can see in this mode you can see the partial poly the difference between them and the full poly here you can see the any difference and another example that i want to explain it here you can assign it to t uh, sp splines for example <clears throat> going to cloner and polyfix make a child for see the explosion you need assign a vector directly assign a random effector here and as you can see it's now random <clears throat> if you go to the poly mode in object this is a full poly or segment as you can see it separate the segments 
not hold object but here if you partial poly or spline as you can see it divided the spline to a lot of separate segment this is an, another difference between partial poly and spline for preserve fine see this image okay as you can see this is our object and if you look at its uh, polygons it looks like this is use a boolean to create it and if you want to explode it and preserve its fines it means it's explode the object it create a scale in its position of the polygon does not does not explode all of the object if preserve the fine position of them and that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release